This colony is like my apartment. There's bugs everywhere. Fire trap. This is the second fire trap. It worked just as well as the other ones. My goal, though, was to make a rat trap, which I'm still working on. I just didn't felt I just didn't feel like I had enough rats to fight the bugs this time. They burnt up real quick, and they all just spawned in that little room. But I do have about 20 or so rats. I'm trying to build a freezer for them to hold all the dead bodies of my enemies. Because one hard thing about raising rats is that they eat a ton of food. If you wanted to hide a body, get rid of the evidence, a rat would be the way to do it, man. I have to release them sometimes into my actual farm just to feed them. So it's kind of becoming annoying to have so many. There comes a point where I start actually praying for a bug infestation so that I can get rid of all these rats. But luckily this raid comes and I'm able to get more meat for the rat grinder. They will chomp through these bodies in literally a couple days. This is my slave almost. He has the flu. He's actually going to die from the flu. But I want to take his arm because he has a drill arm, which he uses to mine the rocks. The issue is that I don't have a good doctor anymore because Gummy died. I only have Kai Bricks, who's the son of Kai, and his medical is two right now. <laughs> but... After he harvests this arm, which he does successfully somehow at 10 years old, his medical went immediately up to 6. So now he's my best doctor by far. These guys decide to just chuck a ton of frags at me and come through my kitchen. Luckily, I had some spike traps and turrets set up on that little hallway on the east side. This guy's just like blowing up all my crops, messing up my kitchen, messing up my fridge. The raider's grenades just go and tear up the walls so quickly. But I employ the old tactic of hide behind the pool table. And yeah, we get more bodies for the rats. Beards decides to have a tantrum and break my most expensive piece of equipment, my geothermal generator. Thanks, dude. But now finally the bugs come. The moment we've all been waiting for. There's like 52 rats or something like that. There's a lot. Way more than what I can maintain and feed. There's actually not that many bugs on this raid either. There's only two big ones and like a few little ones. But as you can see, the rats do not do a great job at fighting these bugs. They barely damage any of the bugs. They maybe take 80% off of some of them. But some traders came, so what I'm going to do is have Trev open the door. Or open a little pathway so that I can maybe use the traders to my advantage. If I ever get, like, people visiting me and there's enemies on the map, I try to kite them into the enemies. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. The bugs don't kite great, though. They kind of tend to want to go back to their hive. But I do get one to come over here. And this girl just has to man up and fight it one-on-one. -on -one. I do help her, though, and try to shoot it with my assault rifle. Then the other two decide to come out. I don't know if it's, like, ant pheromones or what, but they, I think they sensed that their buddy was dying. And I have some interior security systems 
inside my base because of all the previous raids that have happened and taken place inside my base. Yeah, this did not work good. I've had much better plans in this game, and this was not a good plan. These guys just tried to come straight through the mountain, though, where the rats used to be. It would have been awesome if the rats were still here, but I do have this kind of funnel set up in here, so they actually walk straight into just a homemade, like, death trap. Kind of works pretty well, although all they have is spears and stuff. They were easy to deter. Now an actual bigger raid of bugs come. But because those guys dug a hole through the north side of the mountain, there's actually an opening for them to come out, which actually worked in my favor. I could just kind of sit back and just draw them out. The chain shotgun really tears through them. I think it's key when you're like having a big open encounter. Some of them path to the west. I don't know why. I thought they would have totally rushed me, but they end up going over there to the west. I do use my animal call that my Yak King guy has to call over a wild pig. Later on I use it to fight a colony and recruit a bear into my team, which was cool. I'll show that in another video. But having their the mountain open like that actually helped me. It was easy to kind of draw a mountain to the open. And I also got kind of lucky that some of them passed over to the west and didn't end up all rushing me at once. Although I think I probably would have been able to handle it. It was definitely much easier to have them split up. Yeah, Onasan is my Yakin, and he's the one that can call animals to fight for us. So he's the one that recruited this pig that's attacking the insect hive. He can actually call any animal. Like he, like I said, I called a bear earlier. Well, that's the failed rat trap. If you like this video, check out my next one where we drop a nuke on the pigs.